guys! It's Rika here again and I'm here to show you another recipe. The entire world knows about this dish. I know there's a lot of versions out there um, online. But I want to share to you my very own version of the crispy fried chicken. I know you're like, okay, fried chicken, yeah, I know how, to, how it works, I know how to make it crispy and all this, blah, 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 blah. But I want to show you a trick on how to make your crispy fried chicken extra crispy, uh, extra crispy, blah, blah, blah. yeah, extra crispy, and then it will come with a gravy that you can easily make for your family. Now, if you have kids, uh, this is a very good ba on that you can make for them. Okay, so let's start and on with the ingredients. Okay, for our marinade mix, we need grated garlic, crushed black pepper, salt, and optional. Uh, this is chili powder if you want a spicy kick. If you have kids, take it out of the picture. But, by the way, if you do have garlic powder, I highly recommend that. But since I don't have that, I'm using fresh garlic for this. Now, let's go and start with our flour coating. What you just need baking powder, flour, cornstarch. You also need one egg, just regular vegetable oil, and I have here a kilo of cut chicken. So, first thing that we need to do, we need to create the marinade and um, Sometimes the common mistake is they just, you know, add the salt and the flavor to the breading. But you need to marinate the chicken first so all that flavor seeps to the meat. So I'm just going to add chili powder. You know what? The adults in this house like salt, uh, spicy, so let's do that. Some crushed black pepper. All the spices first before I put in the meat. And we'll add this chicken. And since... By the way, thank you to Jean for sending me a message. I'm glad that you like my seasick recipe and a special shout out to your mom as well. Now if you're interested with that recipe, check out the link below. Just massage for me. Let this sit for 20 to 30 minutes. The longer it is you, you marinate them, the better the taste will be. 30 minutes has passed. It's time for us to mix the breading. So I have here the chicken that we marinated earlier. So I am just going to scoot the chicken meat a bit. Because I'm trying to save space. While that egg goes to the meat, we are still, you know, allowing the meat and the spices to blend together. For the dry ingredients, we have our flour, our cornstarch, our baking powder, and we're adding a pinch of salt. This is done. 
let's head over to my pan to start the beef frying. Okay, so our oil is hot. Now, how will you know if it's hot? Add a wooden chopstick. Now, if you can see, that's like bubbling. That means our oil is hot enough. We don't have a chopstick. However, a simple. See? You just dust a little bit of the flour and it just like bubbles up. It's good. So, let me put the heat back on. And let's coat our chicken. Okay, so we'll make sure to coat each angle and each side of the chicken. And then dust it off. So remove the excess flour. And put it in the pan. So for this pot, um, it's large already. So it can probably fit five four to five pieces of the meat. So make sure do not overstuff uh, the pan that you're working with because we don't want the temperature of the oil to drop. We want that hot, uh, hot oil temperature so that the chicken stays crispy. So roughly about two minutes. I'm just gonna make sure to flip the sides. So we have an even brown color. We will let that sit for about five minutes or so. And we will initially take this off. Now what we need to do is let this aerate for a while. And then what it does is it will make the skin crispy. And let it rest for about five more minutes. And then we put them back in the oil. and. Fry it for the final time. So these are cooled down, and what we need to do is we're going to put them back on the pot. Okay, so that's our crispy fried chicken. Now, if this is your first time to watch my video, I invite you to subscribe and make sure to click on the bell button so you won't miss any of my upcoming recipes and food trip videos. Now, if you want to get the recipe for the quick and easy gravy, you can check out the link of that below as well in the description box. So that's it for today and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye!